Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, white uh, right triangle uh, AFE fully confined uh, in a square ABCD. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, white uh, triangle is 3 centimeter square and this uh, side length uh, AF is uh, 3 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the total uh, purple uh, area, this area, this uh, purple area, and this purple area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's focus on this uh, white uh, right triangle uh, AFE. And we know it's uh, this side length uh, AF. Uh, is uh, 3 and we are interested uh, in calculating uh, this other side length uh, Fe as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case uh, this side uh, is the base uh, of this uh, triangle and this uh, side is the height. I'm going to label this height uh, as uh, lowercase uh, h and the area of this triangle has been given to us as 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got area 3 equals to a half uh, times our base uh, is 3 times the height uh, is lowercase h. Let's simplify. So we got uh, 3 equals to 3h divided by 2. And now I'm going to isolate h by multiplying uh, by the reciprocal of 3 divided by 2. So I'm going to multiply by 2 by 3 on the right hand side and 2 by 3 on the left hand side as well. And we can see this 3 and 3 is gone, 2 and 2 is gone. Likewise this 3 and 3 is gone as well. So therefore our height uh, h uh, turns out to be 2 centimeter. So therefore our this uh, side length uh, ef turns out to be 2. And here's our next step. We know we are dealing with this uh, square ABCD. Let me label uh, this side uh, as lowercase a. Then all uh, these uh, sides are going to be lowercase a across the board. And furthermore, I'm going to label this segment uh, BF uh, as uh, lowercase x. Then uh, this segment uh, is going to be equal to this whole uh, side uh, bc which is a minus x that is going to become a minus x so therefore this segment uh, fc turns out to be a minus x and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length uh, of this uh, square is lowercase a so therefore uh, the area of this square abcd is going to be a square and I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, purple shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole square uh, ABCD minus uh, the area of this uh, white uh, triangle uh, AFA and we know the area of this uh, white triangle is uh, 3 centimeter square so we know this area. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square uh, ABCD. And from this equation 1 the square ABCD area is being uh, represented by A square. So therefore we are going to calculate the value of uh, A square. And now let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words uh, the sum of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore uh, in this uh, triangle if I call this angle uh, alpha we know this angle is 90 degrees since we are dealing with the square. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta and now we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta. So therefore this angle is going to be our angle alpha. And finally in this uh, triangle uh, this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle 
has got to be our main goal beta. So therefore we conclude that these two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, ABF uh, and this other right triangle uh, ECF, we are talking about these two right triangles. They are uh, similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And since these two triangles are uh, similar, so we are going to have a proportion. So therefore we are going to have a ratio of uh, AF and AB and that is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, EF and uh, CF. And in our case, our uh, AF value is uh, 3. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by 3. This uh, side AB length uh, is lowercase a. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by lowercase a. And this uh, EF uh, length uh, is uh, 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by 2. And finally, our this uh, CF uh, length uh, is this one, which is uh, A minus X. So I'm going to replace this one by A minus X over here. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, we can write uh, 3A minus uh, 3X uh, equals to 2 times uh, A. And now I'm going to move this uh, negative 3X on the right hand side and 2a in the opposite direction. So therefore we are going to have a 3a minus 2a equal to 3x. So therefore a turns out to be equal to 3x. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate x. So therefore our x value is going to be a divided by 3. And I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 2. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABF. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 3. And our two other legs are uh, A and uh, X. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, A square... Uh, plus uh, x square equals to 3 square. And now let's make an observation. We can see our x value from equation 2 is a divided by 3. So therefore I'm going to substitute uh, a divided by 3 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, this x by a divided by 3. And on the right hand side, uh, 3 square is equal to 9 over here. So therefore we can write uh, a square plus uh, this is going to become a square divided by 9 uh, equals to 9. And since we got uh, 9 at the denominator, so therefore I'm going to multiply by 9 uh, across the board with each and every term. So therefore we are ended up with uh, 9 uh, a square. This 9 and 9 is gone. So we got uh, plus a square equal to 9 times 9 is going to give us uh, 81. So therefore we got uh, 10 uh, a square equals to 81. Let's divide both sides by 10. We can see this 10 and 10 is gone. So therefore our a square value turns out to be 8.1. So thus our uh, a square value turns out to be 8.1. And now let's focus on equation 1. We know the square ABCD area is being represented by A square. And we got our A square value as uh, 8.1. So therefore our this square ABCD area turns out to be 8.1. And here's our final step. Let's recall this equation once again. The purple shaded area equals to the square uh, ABCD area minus the area of this white triangle uh, AFE. And we already figured out our uh, square area as 8.1. And this uh, triangle uh, AFE area is 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, 8.1 minus 3. So that is going to give us uh, 5.1 centimeter square. So thus the purple shaded area turns out to be 5.1 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.